well so today I want to show you how to take a single format layer image such as this JPEG image that I've uploaded and turn it into a multi-layered colored image and we're going to do this using our contour and slice tools so the first thing I want to do is go in and duplicate my image and to begin with I'm just going to duplicate it three times and we're going to start by working on this image and what I want to do is I want to isolate my rows, my eyes and this flourish down here because I want them to be different colours. So I'm just going to go and click on my contour tool. Now if you don't know how to use your contour tool, we have done a previous tutorial on this and it will be well worth going and watching that. So the first thing I want to do is remove this outside layer. So I'm just going to click on the outside of our image and it will then take away those cut lines. The next thing I want to do is take away the inner, so I'm just going to click that. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to start removing all these flourishes so that I'm left with just my rows, my eyes and this bottom flourish here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep clicking on the bits I don't want. And if I make a mistake, I just re-click them and this will then rectify my mistake. <laughs> with that I can then close my contour area down and I'm then left with this so the next thing is I'm going to grab my other skull I'm going to go back into my contour but this time I'm going to remove my eyes and my rows and then my bottom flourish and again I'm doing exactly the same thing I'm just going to go through and click like this and you'll see that my area has now changed so with your contour it will always come up in the middle and I always forget to do this so I then have to go close this down and move them but you do want to move your image so that you'll be able to see it so always have your image to the side and always have your you'll always have your contour in the middle so you always want your image to the side so I'm just going to go through and remove my rose pieces and everything else that I took out Again, once I've removed all my pieces, I'm then going to close this down and I'm then left with these two pieces. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go and grab a shape and I'm just going to grab a square and I'm going to bring my square over my rows. I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I'm going to slice. Now you can only slice one thing at a time but we're just going to remove that and then remove that and that then leaves us with our rows. I'm then going to go back into my shapes and grab a, another square. I'm going to unlock it and just transform it. I'm going to place it over the eyes. I'm then going to highlight all and again I'm going to slice and that then allows me to remove those and then I've got my three pieces. So I can then go in, my eyes I can make a pink, my bottom flourish I can make a lilac and then my rose I can make a red and I'm then able to come in and place them within my skull. So 
So I've now been able to create a multi-layer coloured image and this is all done in design space. Now you do need to play with it, there will be limitations to it, contouring doesn't always work, if things are attached you're going to struggle slightly. So you do need to kind of choose what you're going to remove and what you're going to recolor. But it is a nice easy way of creating a multi-layered image and it's really easy as well. Once you get to grips with your contour tool there is so much that you can do with it. So then if I wanted to size it up I'm just going to highlight all and I can then size it up and keep it all in proportion. And then when we go to cut, I would have my four layers. So I'd have my black layer, my red layer, my pink layer, and my purple layer. As always, I hope this tutorial has been informative. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon.